and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our second Rank Up Sunday deck. This one's going to be Diana Aphelios. We're going to be playing a Nightfall deck. Not really Nightfall aggro. This is going to be more of a mid-range deck and really more of a Unto Dusk plus Aphelios deck. Unto Dusk is the new Nightfall card um, from the latest expansion. That's two mana burst. You, first you get to draw a card and then if you have Nightfall, you get to activate an ally's Nightfall effect again. This card looked incredible. We only played it one time with this card with Aphelios, but it looked incredible together. Because basically, you know, Aphelios' Nightfall is create a moon weapon. And so with Unto Dusk, you get to create a moon weapon and also draw a card. Like, Gifts from Beyond is a good spell that I have played with Aphelios decks in the past and been really really happy with it to just make more moon weapons to level up Aphelios faster but Unto Dusk is just a better gift from beyond when you have Aphelios in play because it's create a moon weapon and also draw, draw a card <laughs> pretty crazy so you get that two two for one there so yeah we got those two together um, but then a lot of other just kind of good nightfall stuff um, I remember the sky shadows I was really impressed with this of just refilling that two spell mana because um, how important two spell mana is with this deck we got all these two mana spells and then of course we have moon weapons that also cost two um, so that's going to be our two drop that we're going to grab with uh felios with like the uh crescendum with that with that uh, moon weapon we got um two veil temples in here last time we didn't play veil temple we got a couple of those in here but we are going to be able to have like some aggressive nightfall stuff like we're going to have the flight in here dealing damage we're going to have stygian onlooker being a good nightfall attacker so you know like we're not going to just like sit back forever and everything like we are going to be attacking um, and putting pressure on them but then also having crazy aphelio stuff so it's going to take a little while let's go ahead and get to the games and play a bunch of moon weapons and have diana challenge and <laughs> all that good stuff so here we go all right well we are playing zoe aphelios to start with so we got the Aph aphelios mirror Okay, so I don't want Hush in the opener, and do I want Unto Dusk? It's like we can go like Sky Shadows on two, refill two spell mana, maybe Mulligan this Unto Dusk, just kind of see what we get. Okay. I do have Unspeakable Horrors, which are good at killing Zoe, but they already got the super cool star chart, unfortunately. Fortunately, I didn't have a, a way to give Diana Nightfall on turn two, which would have been nice, which is one thing that I was really looking forward with mul mulliganing the two cards. This is an awkward hand for sure. With every step, two steps. I guess I'm just going to play Aphelios without Nightfall. They get theirs with, with Nightfall. Well, very good hand for the opponent. So I don't know which moon weapon we are going to create whenever we play this, Diana. Find your own light within the darkness. Plus two, plus one, and overwhelm. This wasn't the best. Not sure which one of these to kill, honestly. I'm honestly not sure which one of these two to kill. This is a very awkward hand for us, and a very good hand for them. Just 
I mean, the warrior is good, but costs a lot of mana. So I've just played one moon weapon so far. Oh, wow. Wow, that's nice. Get that, you know, get that free mana. Get the plus one, plus one. That is nice. Yeah, yeah, you do need a to be on, on the field for the next moon weapon to appear. That is correct. A new moon rises. Our aspect will bring darkness to our enemies. Yep. They declare the rain is come. So I guess this is why you have this is why you have Vil Temple in your deck so that you can um, have more mana. I'm not sure what I was supposed to do with that with that Black Spear. You know, I didn't kill the Aphelios Ephe whenever I had the chance, and so they get all these Moon weapons. But they killed the Zoe. I don't know. That was that was a close one. Maybe I need to kill the Aphelios. I definitely want to level up Aphelios so I can get more moon weapons and have them only cost one mana. They're about to do that as well. All day. Our path is fixed. Now we must walk it. Together, brother. We're, we're fighting an uphill battle, though, with them having the extra two mana each one of these turns. An uphill battle. Saving this. Let's get sever him with the plus one plus two life steal. I need to get rid of this spell shield. I need I need a Unspeakable horror. I did. I had pretty big plans for that, Diana. What? Oh, I forgot. This card's kind of bugged. It takes a little bit to use it. Yeah, 
Yeah, I guess I could just obliterate the temple. Keep them from getting the extra mana and the plus one plus ones. And that's what I need to do. Obviously, I really wanted to save that for Aphelios, but I do have Diana. We just want to get the moon weapon out of our hand. I guess it could have been, yeah, like the the Graviton Moon Weapon would be able to stun this, and then I could have had the six mana obliterate. I don't have that six mana obliterate anymore, though. Yeah, I guess I guess obliterating the temple obliterating the temple has looked like that has worked out really poorly. Cause that cost a whole bunch of mana last turn. A lot of mana I couldn't really afford to spend. Oh, I don't know why I'm not blocking this two one. I should be blocking the two one. They had a wonderful hand. A wonderful hand. I really should have blocked that 2-1. I don't really know why I didn't. Inferno. I hope they're out of stun cards. Killing Aphelios. As is. My only ways my only ways to to up that up is the slow spell card so that if they just grabbed the six mana obliterate. If they just grab that six mana obliterate. That's not good. Please don't have it. Do something else. I guess there's that too. Oh. All right, wonder wonderful hand opponent. Good game. I will not abandon my beliefs. Okay. Renekton Darius. So they will be very aggressive. You're gone, you're gone. I'll keep you on looker. Yeah, Jarvan Chen was really good. OK, 
Okay, got to hit in for five. Let's go with the Doom Beast. I don't know. I could go with the Crescent Guardian, I guess. Alright, so I go Veil Temple here. Alright, so we'll see how Veil Temple does in this deck. Great, not great. Not great. But they're at eight. So I'm feeling pretty good about it. So I can either make the Onlooker a 6-1 or this Flight a 3-2. I guess the Flight the 3-2. Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I could play Temple first. I was planning on playing all this stuff. And attacking for a bunch. Stop. There we go. Alright, drain another two. GG's. See, our deck can get pretty aggro. We had just a really, really awkward hand that first game. With, you know, like, both of our Lunari Priestesses and, and everything. Like, that was a pretty awkward opener last time. We we are playing nine one-drops. We are playing a lot of ones. You would think that we wouldn't have been so far behind like we were. But... All right, there we go. <laughs> My dog is rolling around. Harvey. <laughs> She's having fun. Okay, so Thresh, Nasus, keep Diana, cool, got some one drops. See what we see. They forced us to choose death or the blade. Sand and blood. All right, so while we could have Nightfall Diana turn two, I think I'm probably just going to play the two one drops. Hit him with the flight, get the flight shuffled back. Question is, is would you say Aphelios is an easy champion to understand? And probably not. Whenever you have the... Yuck. That's not good. The vast amount of decisions to make with Aphelios. Um, that probably makes it more complex than a, a normal champion. I want the Crescendum to be able to get more mana. Next turn we'll go Crescendum, get the 3-1, and then play Diana. Oh, got another one of those three ones. This will let me play another. A path opens 
Moon weapon. Sorry, I didn't set up the prediction. My bad, I didn't set up the prediction, my bad. It is now set up, but we are pretty far into the game. <laughs> so, we're looking good from this spot. But we'll have to see with the Thresh Nasses. I'll use the Gravitim just to stun this hapless aristocrat. Keep it from blocking next turn. Nine damage coming in. Alright, so that puts them to 12. <clears throat> and this is going to be 4, 9 damage. That puts them to 12. So close. So we still got like, you know, Stalking Shadows can get us another Doom Beast. Get some Drain in. We got a couple of Stalking Shadows for that. The cycle begins well. <clears throat> Alright, we'll level up Aphelios. This 3 1 can block Nasus. I just grabbed a blocker. I didn't want to block Nasus with either of those. Plus, we took a card out of the deck, so. Taking. Taking a card out of you know, taking a card out of the deck just made it that little bit more likely that we find Doom Beast with Stalking Shadows. Not much more likely, but just a little bit. Keep faith, and yep, it gives the mana back. Alright, Twisted Faith is. Twisted is. I mean hush. Hush can stop, you know, an elusive, it can stop a fizz. But I don't know if it's something that I want to keep in my open arm. Cool. Is it worth hitting them for one with the flight? Or hitting them for two, I mean. Or I kinda of think no. I think I think I'm just gonna save my spell mana. Card's good. Temperamental as moonlight. As darkness falls, the moon rises. 
Whoa. Trade of Helios? No. Alright, so that creates a moon weapon and creates another moon weapon. And draws a card. <laughs> wow, an emoting Twisted Fizz player. He must be the smartest, most creative player alive. That is some. Um... I should have grabbed. I should have grabbed the. I should have grabbed another Sky Shadows. Play that. Get the two mana, two spell mana back. Basically, you know, like I, I love Calibrum in this matchup with their um, Burble Fishes and stuff. And is already at three out of four. Shuffle. I'm not playing any of these cards anytime soon. Four. The moon is our queen. The night, her kingdom. Find your own light within the darkness. The turn five leveled up to his fate is kind of rough. But yeah, I really should have grabbed, I should have, like, one of these, that, you know, instead of playing the Priestess last turn, could have played the card to get the two spell mana. That's what I needed to do. Wow. Discarded Twisted Faith. So obviously their plan is to go get red card. But still even, I guess, gold card. Yeah, this is not good for me. No, it was a Twisted Fates pick a card that they discarded. I felt good about this game, but then... Turn 5 leveled up Twisted Fate. I guess we kind of lose. No more hiding. Yeah, you don't, you don't think they can play 3 spells with 3 mana in that deck? Pretty sure they can play 3 spells with 3 mana. I think the only way that I'm winning this, like, I have to play a longer game, which is not a good option against Twisted Fate, but I guess I have to. The Lunari Dustbringer turn is where I messed this up. Another perfect hand, though. Leveling up Twisted Fate immediately like that. That's perfect. Alright, back to Zoe Aphelios. They're going with Demacia and an Aurelian Soul at the top end. You're gone, you're gone. 
This could definitely be a good Veil Temple matchup. I hope no early Zoe. I don't have Unspeakable Horror or um, or the Flight, my two good anti-Zoe cards. So obviously they have Zoe. Obviously. Her flowers bring the moonlight with them. Find your own light within the darkness. Yours is a light I cherish, Moon Sister. I feel like I've done my deck a disservice with how the two losses have played out. We haven't drawn Unspeakable Horror in any game, have we? Like, we haven't cast one. Like, I don't think we've had one in the five games. They hit the best possible. What was the best possible? It's like these games are playing out like the only way that we lose. They have like the early Zoe. I don't have a flight or unspeakable horror. They had the perfect stun card. Oh, they have the turn five twist of fate level up. The other time also again, same thing with Zoe. And then they had, you know, turn three Aphelios also and Veil Temple. This time they don't have the Aphelios Veil Temple. Finally unspeakable horror. All right, so now we have the two Veil Temples, so we are going to have the extra mana every every time. Oh, well, there's one for them. So that's going to be Nightfall card number two. They can just play two spells to grow the Zoe. I wonder if I was supposed to Unspeakable Horror my own 2-1 so that I could turn on Black Spear. If I play Lunari Priestess right now, we may draw the 2-1 Challenger. Yeah, it's worth it. 2-1 Challenger, please. Nope, but I will take Written in Stars. I, mean, I guess Supernova. Come, a new phase awaits. Daylight fades and dusk fades. As the moon rises, quiet reflection begins. Hearts unshackled. Nah. The 4 1 Fearsome would have been the best card to hit right there. Because, yeah, I didn't think my Black Spear was going to be turned on, but we do have, you know, we have the 9 1 drops. And so I was looking for really any of those 1 drops. Like the Flight would have been good to hit, too. Just any of the 1 drops would have been good. Alright, yeah, this Veil Temple card is pretty good. Getting extra mana. The card's pretty good. If they want to do nothing and let me attack them, happy with that. Alright, now am I still happy with that? Like, if I pass and then they pass. Am I happy with that? Hmm. That didn't play out like I thought it would. I thought I'd still get that two mana. 
but I guess I don't. All right. Well, that's that's how that goes. Hearts unshackled with the knight's embrace. Damn you! Peace will not take long. Don't let them through. Definitely feel like I'm playing this pretty bad. Yeah, Felios can. Yeah, <clears throat> we are a, a very good deck for Felios leveling up. I see. Okay, yes. I gotcha. Yes, yes. Uh, Aphelios doesn't need you to... S you, if you just cast four moon weapons, Aphelios will level up. So it can level up in your deck. It doesn't need to be in play. It doesn't need to see the four moon weapons. I gotcha. Alright, so right now they're at ten. Um, I have eight drain in hand. not wonderful see if I if I play this unto dusk I only add one mana Had the crescent strike to stun these. Yeah, I didn't go for the comment. I didn't go for the comment stun first because of the whole mana thing. Because if I wouldn't, I would have wasted three mana by doing that. Um, with I wouldn't have refilled. I would have only refilled one mana. <clears throat> Could have certainly been the wrong play. Yeah, if I if I know for, if I knew for sure that I was definitely getting the three mana double stun, and I knew I knew for sure I was getting that card, then yeah, I, I would have definitely changed. But you know, it wasn't it wasn't a it wasn't a foregone conclusion or anything. Diana won't normally be this large. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, most most of my decisions this game, last game, have really not been very good or have really worked out. 
yeah, I can't I can't say that I'm playing this perfectly or that I played last game perfectly either. Hey Jordan. Okay, so that's the card that the Behold the Infinite created. Both regular pill cascades. Our light grows brighter. <laughs> yes, they can have the card hush. So I think I've given up on finding a Felios. See if I go. It's just whether whether or not I'm playing the Crescent Strikes right now. If I go Crescent Strike, Crescent Strike, Challenge. I will be heard. This gives them just a good block. Yeah, there's <clears throat> different cards that punish me basically no matter which decision I go with. I at first was looking for a Felios. Yep. That's the card that punishes me for this. <laughs> That's how these these games have been going. No matter like whatever decision I go with, we draw like we find the cards that punish us for going that way. I, yeah, I just, I just really disagree with that, honestly. Hamster, I, I think this deck is really strong. I think that I haven't piloted it very well, and I think our first two opponents had just incredible, <clears throat> had incredible hands. Also, I, I think that this deck is really strong. I like it more than a normal Boxtopus Zoe Felios. I think it has better stuff going on for it. But I haven't I haven't showed it in these games. I made the best decisions. My opponents haven't necessarily helped me out either. Guess I want two Doombies. Yeah, I'm going for Crescent Strike next turn on my attack. Gross. That's a really good last card to have. Yeah, that's a really good last card to have. Mm. That hurts. That hurt. Well, that was really good. We were peaceful. That's the best possible card for us to draw. But of course, we know they have some really super powerful celestial card in hand. Could be the nine mana celestial card. That obliterates too. I don't want them obliterating my Felios. Okay, so let's go with... So I get two moon weapons this turn. 
What are the two best moon weapons? Crescendum and then Severum? Or I guess maybe Infernum then Cres Crescendum? Because that's plus two. Ugh, so they can... We don't know what that last card is, but if that last card's a blank, they block five, they take four, seven, ten, twelve. We kill them. All right, so I guess I'd, I guess we have enough for lethal either way. So I'm going to take this in case that's a blocker, which that is a blocker. Perfect. All right. We should have this. There we go. So they can block the five power and should have enough damage for the rest of them. Right? Yeah, exactly, exactly 12. Exactly lethal. Boom. I think they could have played that uh, thing with the, the spell shield thing. I think they could have played that before I played the double stun. All right, so we still ended up going three and two, and both of our losses, not really too much shame with the super fast level up on Twisted Fate, and then like the, the turn one Zoe, turn three Aphelios kind of thing, like where I had the roll awkward hand in the other game we lost to that Zoe Aphelios. Um, I think, th I really like this deck. I think I, I like this version more than the box to post version of Zoe Aphelios. I do, I think that um, like these, these one drops are really valuable. I think Diana is a wonderful champion. And I really like the Unto Dusk Aphelios and everything. Then Doom Beast draining them out. Um, I, you know, like, I, it's, it's not an easy deck to pilot. <laughs> uh, Nightfall just in general is not an easy mechanic to pilot because you, you really have to plan out of like, because you, you're incentivized to play stuff after like your first card. So you have to like not only plan out your turn, but also kind of plan out how your other turn is going to look of like how like the Nightfall goes and everything. And then you also have like the complexity but behind Aphelios as well. Um, and then you even have just like, even just like little decisions on like, you know, something like the flight attack, not attack, you know, shuffle it back or not, you know, you have just a lot of, um, a lot of decisions, um, with this kind of deck that, um, that make it like where you can, uh, you, you know, you can make some decisions that don't pan out like you want it to. And I had, I had some of that, but overall, I think this deck is super, super strong. And that's why we were playing it for Rank Up Sunday. I'd be very confident in playing this deck. Um, if I was, you know, if we were doing like a tournament today and I'd have to pick three decks for a tournament, um, I think Jarvan Shen and this Diana Felios would be two of my tur tournament decks. And uh, then, you know, I'm not, not sure exactly what I have for my, my third deck, but I think these two would be uh, one and two. I'd maybe, I'd actually probably go with like the Ascended um, the Ascended Sun disc probably for my third deck like that like Daria Sejuani I always do good with that kind of deck so maybe Daria Sejuani but I really like playing the Ascended Sun disc deck so I'd probably play that for my third deck those would probably be my three rank up decks for a turn you know like three tournament decks right now but we're we got two other great uh, rank up decks also with LeBlanc Frostbite that I always do well with Frostbite so maybe after we play that maybe I'll say that that would be the third deck and then we're also going to be playing some Twisted Kindred because Kindred is sweet all right, but that's it here for Diana Aphelios. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave, feel free to leave those comments. If you know this is the kind of games you like playing, give this deck a try and let me know what you think of it. Let me know if there's any um, cards that you think that could be changed. The the Eclipse Dragon is definitely just like a spicy one of at the top end. It's This is not a necessity, but the Eclipse Dragon with the Unto Dusk is like super cool with the uh, Nightfall for the you know, like if you have a clips dragon play then you play unto dusk you create a follower uh you know sorry the dragon follower you create the celestial follower and then you also draw a card which is just pretty crazy but the eclipse dragon should maybe just be like a third veiled temple or something else like that honestly um but uh yeah anyway that's diana aphelios very good deck um again 
thank you so much for watching and I will see you for the next video.